Previously during the investigation, all right, these we're back. Are making me go with to puppies town in, the in the deadly premonition director's cut. Keep me waiting in the rain Part three. So Welcome. We saw this already. All right, so we had just finished breakfast with Polly, and now we're off to explore the overworld, which I'm actually really excited about. So we got these fancy camera controls that we can rotate around New York and see more of Greenvale than ever before. Also, look how green it is. All those trees are at least. Oh, that frame. Okay. I promise to stop <laughs> with that. <clears throat> a police car. <laughs> yep. Let's see if they updated this texture. No, it's still super blurry. So, we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. Let's see... what the control screen looks like. Oh, wait a minute. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Oh, check out that. Oh, okay. So they changed this screen to look a lot less ridiculous than the original. That's cool, I guess. They change these. Okay. Brakes. Okay. For some reason, gas is on R1. I think that's really dumb. It should be on the fucking triggers. L2, R2. But I, I don't know. Change view. <laughs> Headlights. Yeah, those, they changed those too. Boost. That was trigger. Honk. Steer. Wiper signals. Change. Is that the click and right stick to change view too? No. Yeah. Or triangle also. Headlights are on. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, look at that. Ugh. <laughs> looks okay. Alright, so R1 is accelerate. Yeah. Not too good here. The frame rate, but that's okay. I might change the fucking. Let's. Headlights look better, I guess. I don't know. This triangle, okay. Yeah, the, the police car looks a lot better. Oh, it's gonna take a while to get used to these driving controls. Get some business Zach, is done. there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Man, it looks way greener. It's awesome. I mean, less ugly, I mean. Because it was super green before. Everything was green. I'll deal with it. I can deal with it. <laughs> the trees are actually getting in the way because the fucking camera is so pulled out back now. Pull, pulled, so pulled back now. You can't really see anything. Or maybe those trees are new. Those leaves are new. I don't know. So I think this is the place where we need to be. Right to get our. Oh, check out that water. That doesn't look that bad. Do some fishing. Wonder if they changed the fishing. Probably not. Oh man, that looks. Oh, that looks poor. <laughs> Start showing the other side. It's pretty choppy. Really? Come on, give me a goddamn fish. Alright. 
I was always really bad at this. Great! I'm really bad at this fishing thing. So, like one or two blocks before the, the other end. Alright. Yay! Got it. Hell yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. Let's go continue on with the mission. I don't think there's anything else out here, right? Let's check the enlarged map. Maybe that'll help. I just had a big lunch. I think my copy at GameStop is probably there. I haven't called there yet. But I'm already playing the dig digital version, so I don't really care. I don't really need no my espresso suit DLC yet. Oh, what the hell? There's no music. Oh, it's just really quiet. Why is it being it so quiet? I'm gonna get out of this car. That's weird. I guess the music is quieter when you're in a car now. Yeah, that's weird. That's bizarre. I don't like that. I like this song. I won't be able to hear it at all over the sirens. Sounds like those bonus features. Maybe I need to turn the volume. Back to driving. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first? Oh, I don't get full camera rotation. Bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. Locked to it. That's okay. That it's driving. That's understandable. Spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from. Back then. Wish they put siren as a toggle. I hate holding this handle like button down. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John. Oh, that's so bad. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. Poor. It had so many sequels. And Obviously very poor, but again, I don't think it really matters for a game for Deadly Premonition because the game was pretty shitty. Technically, originally too. I never had a chance to see it. I know, Sam. It definitely looks like. Smoothness of the visuals aside, the game definitely looks better, I guess. That looks about the same, except without the weird, ugly filter over everything. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? There we go. Tin can doorknobs. Doorknobs don't look like that. <laughs> okay, what do we gotta do at the PlayStation? Which apparently looks a lot more modern now than it did before. Oh, is he sleeping? I didn't realize he was sleeping this whole time. I thought he was just standing around being weird. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. <coughs> I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Ooh, scary. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. 
It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings I guess from my car. One of the good things about this game coming to the PS3. No, no, just doing my job. In English speaking territories. I want to help do everything I can is, uh, in the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. You know, a lot of people be playing this game for the first time, and if they're not scared away by the you know well? poor visuals, then uh, no, no, not really. They'll be but probably really excited game. to experience this story and these characters for the first time. It's just that and I'd be interested in watching some let's plays, with some first, you know, hand reactions to the events of the game. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room. I sent a but tweet from Screwtech Gaming Convention when I asked about dive kick. The files are. Why don't you take a look around while what I go look say? for it? Okay, let me know when things it's are ready. Compelling commentary, but Zach Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Okay. So I got free. Can't work. Okay, first we gotta do it. Go in here and get Arnold. God damn it! I keep pressing the wrong button. Or no, I don't want these fucking keys. All right here, we gotta get Arnold. They changed him too. There's a name written on this dumbbell. I don't remember him being black. <laughs> I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? Shave. So I really can't rotate during shaving, huh? That, that kind of sucks. I'll check the conversations there. Alright. Yep, the turkey sandwich still looks super gross. <laughs> they, they didn't fix that. It's still purple. Let's go return Arnold. Where is the office room over here? Anything different here? Looks about the same. Yo, M, what's up? Hi. Aw. They won't. I know where it is. Unless they changed it. Let's see, can I still zoom in and shit? How do I zoom in? So I can't zoom in anymore? What the hell? I'm gonna take my gun out to zoom in. Oh, who cares, you guys? I can't sidestep anymore, so that kind of sucks. But I just want to look at what's on Thomas's desk right here. Lingerie of the city. Thomas's name right on there. Yo, George, what's up? Come out here. Uh, what are you doing? George, do you work out every day? Uh, oh, okay. I still can George rotate C. during Morgan. conversations. Exercise that's good. keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now, that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen <laughs> Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. You look ridiculous, George. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. <laughs> workout menu. I'll keep an eye out for him. I wonder if uh Keith's voice actor is the same as George's. Sounds similar. I don't know. Look at that. Sixty frames menu. Oh wait, I have an idea. I want to check something. It wasn't turkey originally misspelled. Uh, I'll have to go look at that, but it doesn't look like it this time. George, I found Arnold. Really? 
He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. <laughs> Good to hear that. Uh, here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Uh oh. <laughs> Thanks. So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. Here goes. Oh, uh, yeah. To how we work together. Just George, that so mind. strong. Zach, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Uh huh. Uh... All right. Now that we finish the Arnold Cyclist, we can go get the flower and give it to him for the radio. All right, let's go help Thomas out. Let's go look at the floor. Let's make it run smoother. Yo, guy, what's up? Who's FBI's in town now? We don't got no static camera angles on the stairwells. I know where to go. I've played this, this chapter probably a hundred times, maybe maybe more. Turn off the flashlight, it improves the smoothness of the game. Whoa. Oh, we need to find your, I mean, Thomas at his apartment. So we can get, see if you they fix the any of those typos in his dialogue. That's the right one? Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Yeah, death smile. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Later, dude. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. Easy peasy. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated. <laughs> this music's from plenty loud. <laughs> Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. That was terrible. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad Ooh. as you know. and some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, <laughs> I, I baked them myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? <laughs> I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. He does Hospital. act like a Emily, king. You come too. That's pretty funny. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. You are welcome to join me. <laughs> like, yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. <laughs> Where else would the car be? You might There's no garage here. Small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. I'll eat this biscuit, man. It's pretty good.
All right. Um, I think we can get the wrench now. I'm not sure, but I'll have to do some research so I don't spend eight years looking for the damn wrench on video. So let's just continue with the story. I'll I'll go get the wrench once I get a better car. Because I need to experience these new aiming controls. A lot of people love the guitar, but the wrench is like a million times better, in my opinion. It doesn't even look like a worm. It looks like a gummy worm. It's a piece of Play-Doh. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. <laughs> I know my way around town. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. Whatever. Hey, what's up? George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. No, it doesn't. Shut up. We can go get lunch. Let's get lunch. Aw, oh, man. I want to get lunch. I'll go with you. Oh, I got my magic, magic uh, poncho on. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. <laughs> <sighs> so grumpy, George. Your hat. Bad texture. Hey, what's up? Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, let's go. Oh, great. <laughs> Really well, really good at driving. We need to get to the hospital, right? Not this way. I can't cut across that way. Let's see if I can get there without using the map. <laughs> Agent Morgan, I can't help noticing you prefer to work alone. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely? Flying all over the country alone? I'm sad. I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get like very this. well with women. I might be surprised Putting the siren on the trigger. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully. Like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can that cut audio stutter, man. Face, just like yours, right? George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a seasoned professional. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by a uh, problematic one. Hmm. Well, she got you good. Terribly good. It'll fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? It's not that light of a wound. Huh. Get it. So, Emily, tell me. Is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to uh, you the eyes, can, but... The controls are so weird. ...all kinds of problems. Bikes, runaways, stray pets... You're too fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. That's what I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Back there he is. In all his glory. They made the driving controls worse. I hate this. Did you say something? <laughs> no, nothing. I was just so used to pressing circle to do like 90 degree uh, turns. I gotta use right trigger. Okay. I have to relearn stuff. Come on. If there's a flower over by the road, I'm gonna get out and get it. 
I don't know when else it will rain. And it's flower right there. Alright, everyone out. I want the flower. You guys can walk in the rain. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Yeah, you guys can walk in the rain. Okay. Good job. I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, the hospital closes at 2100. Please make it inside before then. Have fun, guys. I'm gonna get this flower. And we're gonna go fishing after this, too. This flower. There's something very mesmerizing about it. I wonder what it's called. I'll take one with Daisy. Me. Ask someone later. Oh, look at that beautiful slideshow. Let's go fishing. Yeah, I get Fiona. A dog. Okay. Let's go get the autopsy results. I bet they're in here. This lake's actually kind of crystal-y. It's not raining. It's kind of pretty. Like, magical. Alright, now! Come on. Yes! Honestly, wasn't expecting that to work. We haven't even met Fiona yet. Yo, what's up, dog? Hope Emily and George made it to the hospital, okay? It could have stayed, it didn't take very long for me to get the flower and the fish or whatever. You know what this little speedometer reminds me of? Speedtest.net. <laughs> I wonder if they were inspired by that because. Oh, dude! I wonder if they still have those tricks boxes and Maxwell House coffee boxes at the Bookborn. They literally had a. Back in the trick cereal in the grocery store in this game. Right. This film pretty cheap, I'm pretty sure they didn't game. tell the monster design with the mouth General Mills? Is that, is that who does that stuff? So many delicious All right, we don't have time to talk about this right now, York. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. Yeah, take that. They said the staff. Hmm? Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Hey guys, they oh, told us to yeah, be there I have to, I have to run all the way there myself. But don't worry about that. Let's do whatever you no, want. Oh, that's cool. Jordan and Emily's cars are here, too. Wow. That's interesting. Man. <laughs> Agent Morgan, have you no respect for rules and protocol? We were waiting for you, and now you try to go in by yourself. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's me, Agent York. I don't like inconsiderate people who think that they're above the rules, and I'm sure I've made this point clear by now. Calm down, George. He probably just got lost on his way here and rushed in. Right, Agent York? Let's go inside, then. Let's go! Gross purple turkey sandwich. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a tomato, I guess. But it's purple. For Hello, some Sheriff. Yo, Fiona, what's the haps? What's that weird shadow on your face? Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? 
Nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. <laughs> but how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Haha. <laughs> what? Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? That they did not change that texture either. <laughs> That's the same. You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenville. Fiona, don't say so that. Then they made a <laughs> writer's cut that. with Anna dead and read slower. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Alright, let's go to the computer room. Where is that? It's over... Whoa, they changed the... No. Ooh, let's read these. They changed these. Nope, hickey storage. No, how do I zoom in without? Okay, I'm just gonna aim my gun. Whatever. Toilet, power room, dead house, sleep lab. Okay, they changed the textures, but they didn't change the text on them. Is there still one that says Hello Kitty on it? I wanna see. We have to find that. We have to find this out. Where's the Hello Kitty sign? Oh God, physics. <laughs> the dead house. They probably mean the morgue, huh? I don't know what a hickey storage is. I work at a hospital, so... Oh, here we go. Wait, it's the same. Maybe not. I don't know. Is Hello Kitty still on here? Let's see. Per examination service, registration, and filling in forms. Therapeutic room 6. Blood. Dollar sign. Rhyme. Collection. X-ray room, room seven and second floor, chest x-ray, polyclinic room five, exam of internal medicine for men and women, premarital exam, <laughs> MX room four, surgical exam for for men, premarital exam F room three, gyne gynecological exam for women, premarital education. They took out Hello Kitty. How could they do that? They took out the Hello Kitty room. Oh, th no, there it is right there. <laughs> Like your life, wahaha! <laughs> See what blood extra room. Hello Kitty, fa fa my girl. I wonder if the textures are the same. I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, they kept Hello Kitty. That's good stuff. That's map of hospital. Good stuff. All right, let's go to the computer room. We couldn't find. I didn't look anywhere. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. And a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? Hmm. It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? Unless they changed it. Alright. King, Rook, Bishop, Knight, Pawn, Queen. There you go. That was hard. Did they change that too? I don't know. Oh! Oh! That face! The doctor awaits below with the deceased. In the dead house. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I hate games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. 
It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Check Simple. this shit out. Oh. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. All these sound effects, I don't know what they're related to. Am I going in circles? I'm going in circles. See, a mini map would be useful indoors. But they put it outside for some reason. The larger mini map, at least. I know how to get there. Let's check the weather first. Get some money. Turn the flashlight on. I bet there were more Hello Kitty signs. No more static camera angles on the stairwell. Let's push this. Oh yeah, push. Physics. <laughs> that door opened. The one right next to me. The camera moved to let me know that. See if Anna still looks like, looks like an alien here or not. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Yeah, the coolest doctor. Oh shit. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usha Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone Except calls me for the king over here. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses. What does that mean? Before. That battle of wits, by the way. <laughs> battle of wits. Did you wits create that yourself? Mm -hmm. I wrote a sentence. I just wanted to see if our <laughs> That's FBI what my little puzzle was. <laughs> I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. What about this dead body here? We don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. Oh, <laughs> Emily's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, York's so funny. Such an asshole. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck. I think that looks different. Long I don't know. Running from chest not to really sure. Blood marks Maybe on not. The right hand tells that hair looks... gripping something round in her right <sighs> hand. I don't know. My memory's not that good. <laughs> I have a right hand. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Now, I first thought death by suffocation, due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. There was a wound. I know that now. Which means... She was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced down. Yeah. 
The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker, she also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness and then the killer killed her. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with <laughs> them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that, or a truly hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching Ew. women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body. How does he know this? As she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like. Usher, please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. <laughs> Criminal profiling is my job. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? <laughs> Question. An American Werewolf sure in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending Man, song. Man, York is such an awesome Blue character. Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Yo, Usha. What's up? Those cool glasses. Hey, that's George. <laughs> Where's Emily at? <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> right. How's there some country ham after seeing that dead body? From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. It's very scary looking. Zack, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods. Into the woods. After it stopped raining. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, <laughs> I mean, but I am man enough <laughs> to put the most... What kind of question, question and answer is that? Very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. 
He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off Anna's tongue. We'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Check this shit out. These puppies. Wait. There's more puppies. Uh, uh. I collect puppies. <laughs> there you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. No, York sounds kind of like Garris. I don't know. George, Emily. I don't think they're the same person. But no need to stay here any longer. They're both cool, so. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer huh. down here. You can't smoke in a hospital, York. Not allowed to do that. Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? What? Chess. Oh. <laughs> also, potato chips. Check them out. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Here we go. Action sequence. Oh man, they got shit going on the walls. Gross. Zack, they're here. Scary. Alright, let's do this. I don't need to save. Forget that. Alright, roll. What's up, girl? Matisse. yourself I guess I should kill him and get some money right this I'm too used to running past everybody I get headshot bonuses Stabilizer in here somewhere. Anything in here? Nope. Not anyway. Not 
Uh oh. Going around corners is when strafing is actually really useful. Because I'd be able to strafe over this way while aiming and shoot him. But I can't anywhere. They took that out. It's supposed to be Anna crying, right? Another one come out of the ground? What happened? I should try this with a move. I need to go find... PlayStation move. Great. What? No, what? That was weird. I thought you had to do a little shaky wakey on the analog stick to get them off you. Well, I don't want to find out. I don't need no flashlight. Moving! It's like a magician. Tch. Whoa. I never noticed that sound effect before. The same as the, uh. You caught a thing, a fish thing. You don't want to die, I'll stop being a bee. <laughs> I don't feel like going down there. Gotta get out of my way! Hey, that door right next to me opened. <laughs> Shall I take this stuff? Why not? Infinite lollipops, right? Yep. Super gross. Bloody wheelchair. Damn it. Ah. What was that? Not scary at all. <laughs> oh, God.
Great, I didn't hit it. Oh shit. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Have the frame right here. Oh right. It's Wait, never mind. There should be a yeah. In the Xbox version, this was static camera angle right here for some reason. I think the frame rate was probably bad, but now it's not a big deal. I'm gonna press the Escape and F1 key and the maybe Q and these buttons over here. That's how it works, right? Card still works. I wonder what Charlotte have been. Right, here we go, shotgun dudes, right? Oh, it's this stupid cutscene. One where York just stands there, pointing at himself, Dang. while shotgun guys show up. I wonder how many shots shotgun take. The shotgun guys take to die. They're stronger than normal shadows. Oh no. Shotgun is actually pretty dangerous. But it's really easy to avoid their shots. They might want to get one lucky shot on you. Two shots. Okay. And they also always shot drop shotgun bullets. Not that I really need those. Because you don't get a shotgun until way later in the game. And it's not a very good weapon. And we're done. Can't even see what he dropped, even though I know it's shotgun bullets. Yep. Forget that. We're done. Yo, Fiona, where you at? Agent Morgan, if you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? Can't smoke in a hospital. It. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. I want to cosplay Harry so bad, but I need it. Who's that Someone to be Michael for me and push me around. That's Harry. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. He's a weird one, as I'm sure you can see. <laughs> Always dressed like that. Never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. <sighs> Mr. 
mysterious. Mr. Francis York Moore. <laughs> Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stu. Look at his eyeballs. Nice to meet you too. How did you know my name? Mr. Francis York Morgan, <laughs> information desires you, just as you desire information too. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. <laughs> uh. Mr. Francis York Morgan. With each rain, our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. Then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Moore. The fancy wheelchair. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. It's all gibberish. Emily here. <laughs> uh -huh. Wait. Oh. I think did they changed that sound effect. Okay, thank you, Tom. Because originally it sounded like Agent a York, regular phone ring the first or something. The I don't know. Scene. You can interview uh, them again. I'll have to go back. This gives me this excuse to play the original game again. If you could take me there. Ugh. Damn it. Alright, once the chapter is over, I'm gonna end the video here. Yep. Because I've been recording for an hour and two minutes, and it's gonna take me eight years to upload this to YouTube. So I will be back next time with Deadly Prohibition Director's Cut. See you then!